Hello everyone and welcome to this level three different strokes exercise class. My name's Alex and I'm a physiotherapist from Physiofunction and I'm going to be leading your class today. So we want this class to be challenging and enjoyable but at the same time it's really important that we maintain safety and that you exercise to the correct level. So Level three different strokes exercise classes are designed for people who can move their affected leg reasonably well, who can stand but may need a support such as um, a stick or um, a frame. So you can stand using a solid support like a, um, a kitchen bench or a sturdy upright chair. Um, might have some limited movement in your affected arm, but um, the exercises we're gonna do today um, we can do sort of assisted movements, okay? It'll be a combination of sitting exercises to start with and standing exercises as well. It's a requirement for this class that you have a family member or a carer available to assist you and supervise you with the standing exercises as required for safety, okay? So let's get started. So today's class is gonna be an upper body focus class. So there will be some lower body movements, but we're primarily focusing on working our upper body and then doing a bit of cardiovascular work as well. So we're gonna start in sitting for our warm up. Okay, so either sit yourself in your wheelchair or a sturdy dining room chair um, for the exercises. I want you to try and sit nice and tall if you can. And we're just gonna start by doing some big shoulder rolls backwards. So nice big shoulder roll up and down. Good. Lovely. Nice big rolls up and down. Okay, let's change direction. Let's go forward. So up and over. If you want to, you can start getting your arms a bit more involved in it. Nice big shoulder rolls up and forward. Lovely. Good. Do a couple more here. Last one. Wonderful. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is a cat and cow. So again, trying to sit nice and tall in your chair. So keeping your back away from the chair if you can. Hands on your lap and feet planted on the floor. We're going to try and sit nice and tall now. So think shoulder blades back, head high, look to the ceiling. And then you're going to slump down, round your back, drop your chin. Good. And then again, we're going to sit nice and tall, think shoulders back, head high. Big breath in. And big breath out as you round your back, drop your head. And slouch back into that chair. And again, going nice and tall, big breath in. And big breath out as you round your back and relax down. Okay, we're going to do one more. Big breath in. Sit nice and tall, head high. And big breath out as you sit back. Relax that head. Lovely. And come and sit nice and tall. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is an arm reach and lower, just to, arm reach and raise rather, to try and get your arms loosened up and warm. So if you want to, you can clasp your hands in front. We're going to reach your arms forward and back to start with. So just stretching forward and back. So using your unaffected arm to assist your affected arm if required. But try and join in with your affected side as much as you can. Okay, so try and think about symmetry with this movement. Okay, so now we're going to come forward and we're going to try and raise that arm up a bit and back down and then back in. Okay, so we're reaching forward and then up just as high as you can and back down. So the thing is with these ones is you might start just by able to lift your arms a little bit and then back down. And then you might find as we sort of gradually move through them, you can start to lift your arms a little bit higher. It's important here as well that if you do suffer with shoulder pain, that you're just moving within your limits, okay? You're not pushing into any pain. Lovely. Let's do two more here. So you're going to reach forward. Good. And last one. Reach forward. Big stretch up. 
and back down. Okay, next one we're going to do is a bit of a hamstring warm up, what I like to call an E stretch. So you're going to wiggle yourself forward to the front of your chair. Start by putting one leg out in front of you, so it could be your right or your left leg, your cho the choice is yours. So this leg's going to be straight and your other leg's bent. With your arms, so try and you can join in with both arms or just move your affected arm as much as you can. We're going to try and think about sweeping our arms forward and up. Okay, so think about reaching down to the ground, bending forward at your hips, keeping your chest up and back up. So you feel a bit of a stretch down the back of that front leg. Okay, so you're thinking about sweeping motion forward, keeping that chest up and back in. Okay, sweeping forward and back in. I'm just going to turn to the side so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so you have one leg forward, you're sweeping forward and up. So you're keeping that back straight, hinging forwards from the hips and coming up. Okay, so finish up whatever one you're doing on that side and we're going to change legs. So opposite leg out in front, think about arms down and you're sweeping forward and up. Good. Forward and up. Okay, again, just moving within your limits. Think about keeping that leg as straight as you can, other foot on the ground. Good. Big sweep forward and up. Lovely. We'll do two more here. Forward and up. Fantastic. Last one. Forward and up. Good. Lovely. Okay. We're going to start through to some more dynamic movements now. Okay, so we're going to do some marching. So I'm going to time it for a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to get my stopwatch ready. Okay, so what I want you to start doing, we're going to start marching our feet. Okay, off we go. So let's march those feet and we'll go for a minute. Start slower. And if you can, you're going to try and build up some speed. Get your arms moving as well. We're going to try and get that heart rate up a little bit. Get your body feeling a bit warm now that we've got our joints moving. So warm-ups is about getting your joints moving if they're feeling a bit stiff. Getting yourself, your body warm and ready for the main exercise set. Okay, try to get that heart rate up. You're over halfway. Really nice. So keep going. Can lift those knees a bit higher. Fantastic. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep going. Really good. And stop there. Okay. The next one we're going to do is a sit to stand. So we're going to do this for a minute and it's the last part of our warm up. So what I want you to do is to make sure you've got a support nearby if you need it, okay? So if you've got your walking aid nearby, or you could be near a bench top surface, either in front or beside for support, make sure you have your family member or carer present to supervise you for safety. Feet, let's try and make them nice and symmetrical on the ground, okay? So you want your feet back underneath your knees, and the aim of this one, okay, is to try and use both your legs symmetrically. <laughs> Symmetrically, okay, so you're, it might be a bit more of a habit to come up on your unaffected side doing, that, doing most of the work. We're going to try and get the affected side to do as much as it can. So think symmetry of weight as you can forward. Okay, off we go. If you need to use your hands, use your hands, okay, to push up on the arms of the chair. If you can do it without your hands, great. You can have a go at that too. Just make sure you're safe and working within your limits, okay? Off we go. So we're going to stand up, nice and tall, squeezy bottom, even weight, and then back down, okay? And again, use your hands if you need. We're coming forward and up, lovely. Use your aid if you need it when you're standing, and we're going to sit back down, okay? Reach for the arms of the chair if you need to. And again, we're going to stand up, get your balance, weight nice and even. Think about sticking your bottom back as you sit down. Good, and again, stand up. Nice and tall, weight even. Think about sticking your bottom down and really controlling that sit. Good, try not to fall back. And we're gonna stand up. Good, nice and controlled. All of these as well, work in your own time, okay? At your own pace. 
I might be going a bit slower than you or a bit quicker than you. Just work at your own time. It's how many you can do within a minute. Okay, so finish up the one you're doing now. Lovely, and we're gonna stop there. Okay, so we're gonna go into our main circuit. So it's upper body strength. That's our focus for the first circuit of exercises we're gonna do. If you want, you could use a small hand weight. Um, so you could use either a bottle of water. If you've got hand weights, you can grab those. Or you could use some cans of food. Alternatively, you do not have to use weight for these exercises. Again, if you want to as well, you could use a stick to hold for some of the arm exercises. Um, so this could be a, a walking stick or a broom handle or something like that. But again, optional, you don't have to use them. Okay. So the first exercise, all right, we're gonna do is called a, a shoulder, so it's a shoulder blade one. So it's working on these muscles around the base of, on top, top of your back, your shoulder blades. Okay, working those muscles around there and working on your posture. So I'm gonna get you to try and squeeze your shoulder blades back, palms open, reach those arms back, okay? So the option is here, you can do this exercise in sitting if you want to or you could do it in standing, okay? If you're doing it in standing and you need your support, stand next to either, you can use your chair, so you could turn the chair around or hold the chair, a sturdy chair, or you could hold a bench and you can do one side at a time, okay? So pick the option, sitting or standing. If you want to, hold the hand weights in your arms, okay? And we're gonna go for one minute, okay? Off we go, so we're squeezing shoulder blades back, palms open, Hold for five, and then relax, lovely. Shoulder blades back, palms open, squeeze, and relax. Okay, remember if you're at the side, we're gonna be here, shoulder blades open, and relax, lovely. And again, shoulder blades open, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down, and relax. Fantastic, if you are holding onto a support, make sure this time you swap over, and you do the opposite side. Okay, so change arms. Otherwise, just keep going if you're doing both at the same time. Lovely. And again, shoulder blades open, reach those arms back and down. Head high. Lovely. You should really feel the muscles between your shoulder blades working here. Try not to let your shoulders rub up here. Okay, keep them nice and low. Think about length in your back. Good. And we're gonna go again, reaching back. Hold and then relax, lovely. Okay, so next exercise we're gonna do, again, you can sit or you can stand for this, it's completely up to you. If you've had enough of standing, you can do this in sitting. Okay, we're going, if you want as well, you could hold on to a little hand weight, you could clasp between your hands, okay, if you've got reduced grip in your affected side, or alternatively, you can just hold your hands together. Okay, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna reach our arms out in front and we're gonna lift our arms up and down, okay? So if you're sitting, you're just here, reaching your arms up and down, okay? If you're standing, you can do it here if you can stand without support. If you do need support, I want you to come and stand next to your surface, okay? You're gonna try and lift one arm at a time. Your affected arm, you might be able to get a family member to help you, so if they want to support underneath your um, forearm and your elbow, they could help you lift your affected side. Again, to step this up a little bit, if you wanted to, we could do a little, a little squat and then a lift up, okay? So that's, that's an option for you there as well if you want to get your legs involved. So pick what works for you. If you're standing and using a support, okay, I will tell you when to swap over halfway, okay? Off we go. So we're lifting our arm up and down. And if you're standing, you can do a little squat. Okay, up and down and a little squat. Okay, if you're sitting or just choosing the arm options, you're just going up and down. Remember, if you're holding your hand weight, you can do that here or sitting. Okay, otherwise we're going up and down and a little squat. Good, okay. If you're standing, you're going to finish the one you're on, okay, and you're going to swap over to the other side, okay? So other arm up and down, little squat, okay? Up and down, little squat. Lovely. With the little squat, 
Remember to try and keep your weight even through your legs and you're sticking your bottom back behind you. Okay? Really thinking about that control. Okay, lovely. We're gonna finish up the one we're doing here. And little squat, lovely, fantastic. Okay, next exercise we're gonna go on to is called a wood chop. So I'm gonna show you the seated version first. So if, you've, if you need a rest of coming to sitting, then you can choose this option. We're gonna have our arms clasped in front and it's almost like you're chopping a bit of wood basically. We're gonna reach up and over one shoulder and down to the opposite side. Okay, so you're going up and down. Okay, so we're gonna do 30 seconds one way and then you're gonna go the other way. Okay, if you would like to do it in standing, again, you can hold on to a support, okay? And you can reach up and down, okay? Again, if you struggle to move your affected side through full range, you can just move it as far as you can and think about the moving the shoulder and rotating your body. Or if you've got an assistant that can help you lift your arm up and over, then you can do it here, okay? And then we're gonna swap either side. Okay, so pick the option you would like to do. And we're gonna go for a minute, okay? So ready, off we go. So we're reaching up and out and down to the opposite knee or down to the opposite side. Up and out and down to the opposite side. If you wanna add a balance challenge, you can try and follow with your head. Follow with your eyes, okay? But that might be quite tricky. So if, if you're struggling with your balance, then think about looking forward, okay? It's picking again the option that works for you. Everybody's different. Everybody needs to exercise to their own level, okay? And then you might find as you do these classes a bit more often that you can do a little bit more each time. Or your balance, hopefully your balance and your strength might improve. Okay, do one more on this side, okay? And then we're gonna to go to your other side. So you're gonna swap over your support, okay? If you're going here, and we're gonna go up and open. Oh, I'm just gonna move over a bit, because I'm reaching the ceiling, and over to the other side. Up and open, down to the other side. So remember, if you're sitting, you can do it with both arms, like this, okay? Standing as well, that would be an extra challenge, but I just want you to make sure that you're being safe, okay, and working within your limits. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna do one more on this side. Okay, so one more now, big up and open, and down to the opposite knee. Fantastic. Okay, last exercise in this bit of the circuit is a push-up. So, this one you're gonna do in standing, Okay, so if you can, come to either, if you've got a workbench near you, a sturdy chair. Just make sure your chair wouldn't slide. So if you can wedge it against a wall or something or have someone hold it for you, um, just to make sure the chair doesn't tip or turn. Or alternatively, you can use a wall, okay? Um, yeah, so pick something that's safe and that works for you, okay? You might find that the wall is easier than a bench top that's lower. You're gonna have your hands in front here. Okay, I'm just gonna show you on the side, just for example. Okay, hands on the side, okay? And we're gonna think about lowering our body towards the side and then back up. What I want you to make sure when you're here, okay, is that you try not to over round your back or let your back sink in. Okay, think about lowering down in a way, keeping your body in a straight line. Now, the closer you are, the easier it is. If you are closer, you will need to bend at the hips a bit. That is fine. Just try and think about keeping your back straight rather than rounding it, okay? So we're gonna go here for a minute. If you're at the wall, hands on the wall in front, and you're just gonna lower to and away from the wall, okay? Or same with the chair, you're here, to and away from the chair, okay? Right, so pick the option that works for you. And we're gonna go for one minute, off you go. So thinking about tummy tight, you're gonna lean in and away. Okay, so remember, if your legs are further away, that's gonna be harder. If you would like to, you can come to a table and hinge at the hips. Okay, 
trying to push through both those elbows down and push up, all right? Or alternatively, if you're at the wall, okay, we're coming here and you're gonna lower to the wall and away. Okay, picking what works for you. You're over halfway. Fantastic guys, keep it going. Good, try one more. <laughs> and, or two more. <laughs> and rest there. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to go back to the top there and we're going to do that circuit again. All right? So, first exercise. If you want to have a little go at doing this in sitting, if you need a little active recovery, then sit down. We're going back to our shoulder squeezes back and down, reaching to the floor squeezing the shoulder blades back together or alternatively if you're standing you can hold on to your support and do them up here and i will tell you when to swap over halfway okay so when you're ready off we go so your shoulder blades back together and around back together hold and relax back together hold and relax lovely back together hold and relax, good, and again, back together, hold, and relax, good, and again. Fantastic, if you're holding on to a support after this one, I want you to swap over and do the other arm. Okay, otherwise if you're down here with me, just keep going. Fantastic. So think about sitting tall away from the back of the chair, growing nice and long through that neck. And that back, you've got really improving that posture, squeezing those shoulder blades, collarbones wide. Fantastic. Okay. Lovely. Gonna give you one more. Good work. And then relax. Fantastic. Okay, next one is we're going into our forward raise. So if you're sitting and you're choosing to stay sitting for this part of the, um, for this exercise, Arms out in front and you're raising up and down, okay? Again, just moving within your limits and how far you can. Trying to do as much as you can with your affected side, but supporting it with your unaffected side as required. If you're with me and you're going to do standing, okay, we're going to do one arm at a time. You've got the bench on your side. We're going to do an arm raise up and down, and then we're going to do a little squat if you choose to add that bit to it as well, okay? so. Off we go. We're going to do a little arm reach up and down and squat. Good. Again, if this is your affected side you're starting with, you can either have somebody assist you with the movement or just move it as high as you can. If you only get a tiny bit, you've got a tiny bit of active movement, then just work on that, okay? It doesn't matter if you can't raise it up the whole way. You're just thinking about that forward movement, okay? So again, moving as far as you can within your limits and at your own pace. Okay, so if you're standing, all right, after this one, I'm gonna get you to swap sides. Okay, so swap over sides. If you're standing up, other support, arm raise up, down, and sit back. Good. Lovely, if you're still just sitting and doing your arm raises together, then continue with those at your own pace. Really good guys, this is a great one for your shoulder muscles. And if you're adding in the squat too, it's gonna get your leg muscles working. And it's also gonna get you, um, even though it's just sort of, almost I guess strength-based exercises, you might find that it gets you a little bit out of puff, okay? Gets your heart rate up a little bit. That's because we're also doing a bit of a cardiovascular workout, working in a circuit style. That's why circuits are such great exercise, a way of doing exercise, because you can get so many benefits. Okay, one more here. And then relax, fantastic. Okay, so we're going into our wood chop. Again, seated version, if you need to have a sit down or you're choosing to stay seated, you can have your arms clasped together. We're chopping the wood up 
and down to opposite knee, okay? Up and down. Okay, again, you're moving within your limits, trying to move from the body a bit as well. And if you want to add a bit of a balance component, again, follow with your eyes, okay? So that's seated option or standing. Remember, next to your support, we're coming up and down. Again, if this is your affected side and you don't have much movement, think about just moving where you can from your shoulder and reaching down, okay? Off we go. So we're going up or as far as you can and then down to opposite knee. Up and down. Really good. Up and down. Up and down. You know, thing here, I'm adding a bit of a knee bend. So that's an option too. Or if you just want to add like a little tiny one and just you mostly move your arm, that's fine. If you're wanting to make it a little bit more challenging, you can go up and a little bit of a squat down. So it's completely up to you. Okay, we're gonna swap sides if you're standing and doing one arm at a time. Down, I'm just gonna move my chair over, otherwise I'll hit the ceiling. <laughs> up and down, really good. Wood chop that arm, up and down. Lovely, up and down. Good, again, moving at your own pace. And then thinking about opening that body, reaching that arm up as far as you can and then down. Okay, one more on this side, and down. Fantastic. Okay, so last one in this circuit is our push-up. So you're gonna find yourself the wall, okay? Wall, bench, sturdy chair, just make sure it's not gonna move, okay? And you've got supervision as you need it, okay? So I'm gonna come over to the wall this time. Hands, if you need to, you can have them class on top of each other. Or if you're able to hold them up, think about shoulder width apart, okay? Do whatever works for you. If you struggle with your wrist movement and it's a bit too much of a stretch having your arm on the side, you can always use a rolled up towel or a rolled up um, a tea towel or flannel and pop that underneath, underneath your hand and your um, support the palm of your hand because then it will just take the stretch off a little bit. So that is an option for you if that's something you struggle with. Okay. Off we go, wall push up. Okay, try to keep that tummy tight. Squeeze your bottom and you're lowering in and pushing away. Okay, remember to make it harder, feet come further back. To make it easier, feet come closer. Okay, so again, you're just working with your limits, picking what works for you. You're over halfway now, guys. Keep it going. Think about lowering and pushing. Really, when you're pushing away, think about really straightening that elbow, especially on that affected side. Okay, try to let those shoulders relax down as well. Doing really well. Okay, I think we've got two more. So try and get out two more if you can in your own time. Last one. Fantastic. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do now, just before we finish up with some stretches, we're going to do a really quick cardio blast, okay? So we're going to do marching, okay? You're going to do this one in sitting. So um, if you wanted to do it in standing, I want you to make sure you've got your support nearby, or you've, if you've got frame, have your frame, stick, or you can have a support either side, okay? We're going to do quick marching of our feet and we're going to go for 40 seconds. So pick the option you're going to do, okay? And we're going to go for 40 seconds. Off you go. So sitting or standing, I want you to try and move those feet as quick as you can. Okay, so you're picking the standing option. Again, you can have support either side. You have support on one side, frame in front. Alternatively, you can do it in sitting. So I just want you to try and think about moving your feet as quick as you can. Okay, it's a really quick little blast to finish. You're gonna keep going. Keep yeah. those legs moving. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. There's a little, a little blast to finish. Then we're going to go into our stretches and cool downs. It is amazing how quick half an hour goes. 
I always anticipate getting a lot more in. Okay, we're gonna go again. You ready? Off we go. Marching those feet. So standing options up here. If you're sitting, get those legs and arms moving. Yes. Last bit, come on. And get them going, you can even go to a little jog if you want to. <laughs> moving as quick as you can. Little final push. Okay, got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Right, I'll take you through a quick cool down before we finish. Again, I can't believe how quickly half an hour goes. It flies by. Right, okay, so the first thing we're going to do, because we have did a predominantly upper body session, we're going to do a chest stretch. So you can hold the base of your chair. You can put your hands as far behind you, behind your back as you can, okay? Or if you can only get your unaffected side behind your back, get that one back and just move your affected arm on your lap if that's um, what's comfortable for you, okay? So whatever option you choose, we're gonna try and open that chest, elbows back as far as you can, head up to the ceiling and take some nice slow breaths. <sighs> Lovely. Do another big breath in. Widen those collarbones and breathe out. Lovely. Do one more here. And out. Fantastic. Next one, if we clasp arms in front, you're gonna reach them forward as far as you can, okay? As if you're trying to hug a big ball, really round those shoulders now, and you're gonna drop your head. Again, big breath in. And out. Lovely, feel that stretch across your upper back. Breath in. And out. Good, one more, breath in. And out. Lovely. Okay, next one we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a trunk rotation. So if you move your hands to one knee, you're gonna turn to try and look over your shoulder one way. Take a nice big breath in. And out. Good, and again, big breath in. And out. Good, back to the center. And we're gonna go the other way. So hands to the opposite knee. You're gonna to turn to look over the other shoulder and you're gonna take a big breath in. Sit nice and tall and out. Relax into that turn. And again, one more big breath in. And out into that turn. Lovely. Well done, guys. If you feel like you need to do some more stretches, then you could, um, if you've got stretches for your arms or your legs that you usually do, then it would be worth maybe going through those as well. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed today's session. Um, let me know if you have any feedback or comments or if there's anything you'd like to see in these classes, then, um, then yeah, comment below and let me know. But have a great rest of your week and I will see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.